Here, in part three of sealing the cracked block on my Onan 30 EK generator, I describe the preparation process and show the way that I mix and apply JB Weld to the crack. This is a project to uh, seal the block on my Onan 30 EK generator. Uh, I got it uh, for 600 bucks tax included at an auction and it runs like a top, it runs on propane, you can see the bottle, my temporary setup in the background, uh, but the block is cracked severely along the side uh, below the exhaust manifold. This is a city water cooled model by the way, uh, but at any rate, so uh, I could spend $13.95 for a new long block and still be ahead of the game considerably, but I want to try to seal this block up. So the first thing I did was to flush the Dickens out of it. Uh, which is an interesting another story uh, about how to do that with a city water cooled model in other words no radiator uh, but I did that and then I sealed it with the stuff sitting on a little stool there called block seal somebody's block seal K and W block seal recommended by several mechanics and also recommended was to seal the block on the outside instead using JB weld so I'm going to do both. So I have gone through the block sealing process, which again was quite an ordeal, uh, but and it's sealed up, so there are no more leaks. But I'm also going to seal it from the outside. So I'm just going to show uh, a little bit about where that is sealing is going on. Okay, now we're taking a look at the side of the block under the exhaust manifold. This is a water-cooled exhaust manifold and uh, you can see where the paint is discolored along here all along here from here uh, almost back to the uh, alternator there's a long crack and I have cleaned that up I have sanded and sanded and scraped uh, with a small file in the actual joint itself uh, uh, to uh, you know to kind of brighten up some area right there uh, the paint boy sticks on really well um, I mean, I've spent a lot of time sanding already, and it's very hard to get the paint off. So I'm going to, that's it, where I'm at, that's, that's uh, where the JB weld is going to be. There also were two kind of crescent-shaped cracks up in this area. Here you can see the JB weld there. So I've already uh, worked them over and used that as kind of a test for the JB weld, and that seems to be working well. So now, uh, again, I have sanded. I have sanded and sanded and sanded and scraped and scratched and what have you and uh, cleaned everything off with acetone. A couple of days ago I'm going to clean it off with acetone again and then I'm going to mix up a bunch of uh, JB Weld and trowel it on. Uh, I made some little trowels here out of uh, paint stirring, paint stirring uh, spoons and that will be the tool for troweling it on. Uh, during this process, because I don't like to get the epoxy all over my hand, I use these, one of my five favorite things, these orange refinishing gloves. They work really, really well for such things and you have still a lot of uh, a touch in your fingertips. So now I'm going to do the sealing. That's just plain grunt work, uh, but that's, uh, that's the process I'm using. Okay, here's my first batch of uh, JB Weld for the big long crack. Uh, that's probably a third to a half a tube. Now I'm just going to mix it up and I'll start apply and start applying it. Now it's mixed and I'm going to start to apply it. Okay, I'm certainly not the expert at this, but this is basically what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to work it in there real good. And I'll probably go back over it again a couple of times. They say this is five hour uh, stuff, so uh, uh, I'll have time to work it out, I guess. Anyway, I'm going to go back to the crack. Okay, that's how far I got with that amount of stuff that you saw. I still have oh, about half the distance to go there on the right. So that's how far I've got so far. And I don't know if I'm going to go back and try to smooth that too much. Even though it says it takes five hours to set, I don't want to take the chance of tearing up <coughs> partially set. We'll see how it goes.
Okay, there's my second batch ready to be stirred up. I don't know why I was being so chintzy. That's the remainder of the first pair of tubes that I bought. I bought two pairs. This will probably do it, but anyway, now I'll mix that up. Okay, here's my second batch ready to apply. Okay, here's my completed patch. I did kind of tidy up a little bit. I don't want to try to make it look too tidy. I noticed from the sample that I did up higher here yesterday that it didn't run very much, you know, sag. Uh, so the sags that you see there are sags that I sort of left there, I think. We'll see what it looks like in five or ten hours. Maybe you can see the bugs floating around all over here. But anyway, that's the, that's the repair job. So we'll let it sit a day before, at least before we try to fire it up, fill it up with water and fire it up. Uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, to doing that.